Howdy, howdy, everybody out there in YouTube land. Just getting set up here real quick. Don't want to bump anything. See my table here. Today is Wednesday, so we are going to have card reviews. We're going to have a couple of them coming your way. This is going to be the first one. Just had my little practice card. I like it because it's a bicycle ad card, but it's got the black back on it, the rider back, so you can kind of just practice with it. If something happens to it, it doesn't really matter at this point. So it's really nice just to have some cards just to practice with, to mess up with. If you lose them, you lose them. So remember that the ad cards are actually perfect for practicing. Here's one that I've been practicing right here. It is a one-handed flicker shot. Similar to that, but really just flicking it straight up and catching it. So I like that. Anyway, let's get into the deck. So we do have the Slow Hands V2s, the tortoise backs. And the reason why I have them is because we had talked about, you had seen this in a previous video. These are the Coastal Carolina playing cards, 54 different pitchers. Um, so of course, this is one that we're borrowing from David. So thank you, David, for letting us borrow some stuff. He has, <laughs> he told me, a couple days ago that he has too many cards coming in so he's got a lot of stuff coming in so we're gonna have a lot of great stuff to look at but here's what I like about the deck we're gonna come forward a little bit here for this one uh, just because Michael P recommended I, I get a little bit closer to the camera when I'm doing stuff which unfortunately takes away this space so the top of my head is cut off. I could lift it up a little bit, but then you wouldn't be able to see my hand. So here we are. We're going to slouch a little bit. We're going to show you the box, okay? Now, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time because you can see the box, but there are a, a nice... These these don't get enough love, in my opinion. So, Or in David's opinion as well. So we agree on this. And here's why. Boom. Right there on the back. That's why we're featuring the tortoise back any chance that we get because this actually has a a two-way design on the back it's symmetrical uh, as far as I can tell we'll take a closer look here coastal Carolina each card has a different color picture featuring the northern the North Carolina coast for a total of 54 pictures and then here's some on the side there uh, Peter I'm guessing that's Peter Duran. Yeah, Peter Duran. Fine Art Photography, Coastal California. On the bottom, pretty much says the same thing. But on the back it says, Many beautiful beaches can be found on the North Carolina coastline, including the Outer Banks, Beaufort. Beaufort? <laughs> if, I, if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, let me know down below. Moorhead City. Emerald Isle. The Cape Fear Region. Top Sail Island, Wrightsville Beach, Pleasure Island, Southport, Baldhead Island, Holden Beach, and Sunset Beach. 2007, Peter Duran Photography, printed in the USA. Fantastic. So let's take a look. It's got nice little waves on it. Lighthouse on the front. Nothing going on inside. Boom. Boom. So here are the cards. We'll show you the backs. So you got that beautiful turtle design. This way I, I'm looking at the back as well while you guys are looking at the back there. Uh, looks like there's some crabs, some seashells, the two tortoise, the two turtles. So just to give you an idea. So if you like turtles, then this is a fantastic deck. Now the only thing to consider uh, just I'm gonna take a closer look at it just to make sure yeah this is definitely symmetrical how does it feel it feels like feels like they went with USPTC uh, as far as printing so it feels great now let's take a look at the pictures so we've got more ads for Peter Duran here and more ads on the back there all of these are the regular ones so let's take a closer look at these so we've got a uh, Kingfisher <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong um, I just want to make sure that I've got these pictures coming out for you as best as possible so 
So really what you're getting is just photography photos on the cards because these are a souvenir or scenic type. But unlike other souvenir or scenic cards that I've seen, these cards, like I said, I am going a little bit quick for them. And I can always slow them down if you want or you can pause them just to take a look at them. But these are... They, they feel like USPCC. They feel like bicycles. So they went in a really good direction, I think. A lot of lighthouses. There's some nice scenic stuff for you there. I'm trying. I know I'm going through them rather quickly. Uh, but as far as... I mean, you get the idea that there's pictures throughout all of these. And there's even place names and stuff like that so there is no court cards it's just all photography that's really what it's all about what's this one here the wright brothers national memorial so this is another deck that has a lot of history to it especially if you're traveling around they like turtles or if it's in carolina coastal carolina then i'd really study up on all of that so that you have a story for each of these and Let's talk a little bit about magic theory with these. Where would I use them? Well, the back designs are fantastic. I would use these uh, if you like outdoorsy, like my shirt, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I think these would work very well in a lot of different places. Now, what could I do with the face cards? Because there is a picture on each of them, you potentially could do like a... How do I put it? Like you can do uh, kind of like the architect deck where you memorize all of the cards and you memorize all the pictures. And then you might even be able to do a little bit of mentalism by saying, well, what are you thinking about? Like, are you thinking about trees I'm like this one? Or let's see if there's a good one here. Oh, like this one's just a nice little, I'm guessing a sunset. Uh, let's see if we've got a nice little lighthouse. You know stuff like that so you could really and then if you want to do like a horse or this you know and you can really narrow it down like that so that's kind of what i would do is another historic type or tourist type uh, that i think would be great um can you use this outside of north carolina or coastal carolina i keep saying north but yeah it's north carolina coast uh could you use them outside of that I don't see why not. I don't see why that would be a problem at all. I like them. I mean, they definitely feel like USPCC. Did I say too many C's? USPCC. <laughs> uh, bicycles. So I think they'd be fantastic. And I think you could use them for a little bit of mentalism. I think you could use them for uh, some really nice historic type of decks. Decks. That's not what I meant. Historic tricks, uh, historic mentalism, historic uh, call cards. You know, if you want to get into memorizing cards and stuff like that, you could really do a pretty good job of memorizing all those different locations. And, and it wouldn't hurt if you lived in North Carolina. So that's what I think of those. I think they're a nice little deck that you could take out. Do I think that they're going to be as versatile as the tortoise backs? Well... The slow hands are produced, especially the snails, they're produced in such a way, especially the snails, I should say, uh, with some emphasis there, is they are a reimagining of the original bicycles. So in terms of those cards, they are, they, they are generally, I mean, you could replace the bicycles with them. That's how good they are. Uh, just like how the Knox were intended to be an alternative to the bicycles. I think the slow hands are now a deck that really just accentuates what magicians really want these days and they can kind of get away with them. I would love to see them more mainstream. That's how that's how much I love them. Uh, but this deck, uh, I mean, I could use it every day. I feel like it could be an everyday deck. Would I though? I don't think it has the same quality and I know obviously it's a bicycle, but bicycle doesn't have the same quality. You could pick this deck up and use it and use it and use it and it would be great. But 
it's definitely that theme type of coastal deck. If it's summertime, if you're trying to get out there by the pool, if you're trying to get into that, that you were at the beach or something like that, um, you could definitely utilize this deck very well, I feel like. Uh, basically, just based on that. So, yeah. This was the Coastal Carolina playing cards with 54 different pictures. Photography by Peter Doran. Fantastic set of cards from 2007. Um, my thing is, is if you're collecting cards, why not collect cards from everywhere? I've got Chicago cards. I don't know if Chicago came out with the USPCC version version of the cards. Uh, but definitely, hey, they went they went well with this because they went sh straight USPCC, I think. Uh, I'm not seeing that on here, but the quality just feels, feels good. So, yeah. There you have it. Coast of Carolinas. So why don't we move on to the next deck. We'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay positive, stay active, and stay awesome. Boop.